today we are going to talk about uh, that people do not decide their futures, they decide their habits. And their habits decide their futures. What do you think about this? Do you agree or do you disagree with this? Any volunteer? Can I go first, Maggie? Oh, yes, of course, Norma. Well, it's um, it's really curious because I just uh, heard a podcast about uh, something right, like, a really topic like that. And they, uh, well, the person who was speaking uh, say, said that it was uh, very fundamental that uh, children that we raise, uh, well, we as parents <laughs> raise our children with uh, great habits because um, nowadays parents are more concerned in that uh, their kids get into a pretty good uh, university, pretty good college, but they forget to raise them with good habits. And those habits uh, will lead them into successful and um, very good things in life. But we are more concerned about they achieve uh, goals, good uh, scores, and something like that. And we forget about habits. And that's really funny because they talk about the importance about uh, house chores and that they give the capacity of the resolution to, to, to do the things, even if they don't like to do certain things, but they have to do that. And they give um, the house short, give them the capacity to, to accomplish the, those uh, short that they don't like. Hey, that was so, so nice, so interesting, yes. I agree. I totally agree with you. Okay. Anybody else uh, who wants to, to talk about what Laura said? Hi, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. I, I guess the people not decide their future by their habits. And most of the, these habits are destructive, like uh, drinking alcohol, working hard. And so the habits decide their futures. That's it. Yes, you're right. You, you know what? You mentioned something so interesting, so important. Sometimes I think that the only destructive habits are just to drink alcohol or to smoke cigarettes or things like those. But whenever we overwork, we are workaholics. We are also destroying our health. It seems to be a very nice uh, point to have a lot of work, but it's a way that we are destroying our, our health. I talk about myself because I really work a lot. I have three jobs and they are so time consuming. And sometimes I don't talk to my family because I don't have time. And I don't do exercise. I don't visit the doctor regularly because I don't have time. And so it is destroying my health, of course. So, yes, it is so sensible. Okay, do anybody want to give any another opinion? Julia, we'll listen to you. Okay. Um, well, I think the habits are like a waste or bridge to um, carry us to the to our future, to our trips, our goals. <coughs> and I think all of all of we um, have um, like that. Uh, in my case, I think I I in a time I were a a workaholic too but I think I calmed down myself and I said okay Julia you have to do exercise you have to um, 
stop to working so much because maybe you have uh, a lot of of money if I can say you like this but in a future I'm going to destroy my 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 body and, and my mental health so I think uh, if we take the balance with um, mm, exercise uh, um, something to, to study and uh, work I think we could create um, a good habits and I think this kind of habits this kind of balance uh, will bring us to the our goals and a very successful future hey that's it thank you very much yes it was brilliant okay anybody else's opinion me Maggie all right Yvette okay um when it comes to talk about habits and goals I from my point of view I think that it's better when you draw your plans it's better because it helps it helps you to define your short-term and long-term goals so that it helps you for example for to achieve that goals you have to every day or every single day you have to do uh, something whatever you want uh, to help you to achieve that goal and so therefore that goals permit yourself set up habits hey that's it yes that's so sensible and that's true all right thank you very much Yvette anybody so else yeah, it's me Lydia Alicia yes Lydia uh, well as I see it the decide their habit and their habit decide their future I think that it's a grand idea because if you care your habit for example do exercise or help health uh, meet help is, is it correct yes is to eat healthy food uh -huh. okay. um, um it's probably that you have uh, good conditions no um, if you do exercise, you have another kind of mind. Um, but some some other people maybe don't have the shows for the size their future. Uh, for example, I have a brother, and he my my parent told him that he he can't pay the career and he was sad in some time he uh, take a lot of beer and go to the disco but uh, after he get married and he has a child um, some uh, the last September, he has already has his. I how do you say? Um, uh, oh, oh, his professional registration. ID. Okay. Registration. Yes. Okay. Well, he has already has it. Um, I thought. Um, about the something that my father told him in, in some time he was sad and he decides um, no uh, no good ideas for her life but after he decides to do something that he wants to do I, I think that some people have the sign, but maybe in some time he has choose that they wanted. 
<laughs> That's it. Yes, you're right. And whenever we decide to do what we want, what we have desired, we have that uh, feeling of satisfaction, of happiness, and it makes us living more in, in harmony with ourselves. Yes, you're right. Okay. You know what? Uh, I would like... Uh, no, yes, I would like you to talk to me about your habits. Uh, I would uh, do first, I would talk to you about my habits. And you uh, please share uh, your lifestyle with me or with everybody. Well, first of all, I used to go uh, to... I have, in fact, I have three jobs. But I go to the preparatory school at morning where I work uh, and I go by bike. I like to do it because I consider it is a healthy uh, exercise for me. Uh, when I finished my class in that preparatory school, I go to another one and I spent some hours there. Later on, I ride home. And I sit down here uh, in front of my computer for long hours. So the only one exercise I do is biking. Uh, later on, sometimes I have time for eating, sometimes I don't. And when I don't have time, my daughter takes food uh, here to my desk so that I can eat. But it is every day, not only from Monday to Friday, it is also sometimes Saturday and Sunday. So I don't really have a social life. I don't have either family time and that is uh, making me feel depressed. So I consider that I should stop working for so long hours. I should decide what is the job that makes me happier and that is more uh, profitable for me so that I continue with that and maybe to quit in one of them because I am really exhausted. I'm really tired of being working for so long hours. Well, that's my experience. Um, I would like to hear to Isabel. Isabel, could you talk to me about your habits and your lifestyle? Yes, of course. Uh I used to have an habit to work every day. <laughs> and uh, my day starts with uh, walking around the park in the morning. Then I uh, go to the office, work all day, solving many problems, get stressed and get tired and go back home. Then um, help my kid to his homework spend some time in family and then take a cup of coffee then go to sleep and repeat all that again next day and uh, one habit I have is to drink a cup of coffee in the morning and one more in the night that's basically my daily life <laughs> excellent thank you very much Isabel all right so anybody else uh, Isabel who do you want to listen to okay Julia all right thank you okay well my habits is um, well I work uh, from Monday to Friday uh, from 9 to 6 uh, and I have one hour to eat, but this hour is relative. Sometimes I don't take it because I don't have time to, to eat. Uh, and it's, it's a bad, bad, bad day when, when that happens. And then I uh, stay in my work to the 8 o'clock because um, I... The, I, I do homework and I study 
English and at eight o'clock I went to um, my classes of capoeira. I practice capoeira and then I go to my home and that's that's uh, my habits from weekdays and in uh, weekends I I stay at my house or I go uh, with my boyfriend, I don't know, to eat in a restaurant or take a coffee. And that's it. Hey, that's great. Thank you. Okay, who do you want to listen to? Um, Maria. All right, thank you. Uh, it's me, teacher. All right. Okay. Well, I guess there are more more bad habits because uh, healthy habits uh, I don't I don't do. Uh, I try to eat well, but really I can't uh, I can't say that I that I have good habits uh, healthy. But I like to read a lot. I used to read a lot and drinking coffee. <laughs> hey, that's great. Thank you very much. Okay, who do you want to listen to? Um, Norma. All right, thank you. I was afraid she's gonna tell my name. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, everybody have like interesting things to say and well, my normal day begins with, uh, I work out at 6 a.m. Uh, I get home at 8 o'clock. I get home just at 8 a.m. Uh, we usually have breakfast at 9. Then I take my kid to swimming lesson or tennis lesson. Then we're back home and we have a snack. Usually we have popsicles <laughs> and stuff like that <laughs> um then uh, well we're ready for uh, i don't know cooking or something like that in the afternoon uh, i get to work a little bit in my online classes and we see a movie we take a walk um and then at night i usually um, play with him a little bit and take him bed and that will be all my day. <laughs> hey, that's nice. That's pretty good. All right. And so, you know what? Um, I would like to know who you want to listen to. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Well, who's, li who's missing? Leonardo? Leonardo, yes, Lydia, Leticia. Well, let's listen to Leonardo. <laughs> All right, thank you. Leo, hello, yuhu. Do you hear me? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, my day starts with uh, breakfast at 7 a.m. And then uh, I go out looking for, for a job That's because I was fired the two, two weeks ago. So for now, that's my job. <laughs> and in the afternoon, I have my, my free time. And this time I uh, play for an hour in video games. And you see, that's my... my my habits in the afternoon. And then I, I, I can do my, my homework for three hours or four. That depends how I finish with, with dinner and go to sleep. That's, that's all my day. All <laughs> right. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> all right. Let's hope that you find a job pretty soon. You, you will see that. Uh, sometimes. I hope so. <laughs> Yeah, so don't be desperate. You know what? I am uh, sure 
that everything happens in its moment and we go to the place where we were supposed to be. Uh, sometimes we say, why, wait, does this happen to me? But it is because of a reason. So if I tell you something, uh, for me, in my case, for example, one of the best jobs I have had is this in Ilse. And I came in here, well, not accidentally, but incidentally, because I met a, a very important person in, in, the, in the life of this uh, organization. And he was um, a friend of mine. He was uh, working in the same school I was. So one day he told me, hey, Maggie, wouldn't you like to teach online? And I said to him, to do what? I don't know what is it, and I don't know how to do it. And he told me, don't you worry. Uh, we will train you, and we will teach you how to do it. I was surprised because I said, how come? Whenever I was looking for a job, I couldn't find it. And now that I don't want to work anymore, I have a job, another job. And later on, I said, wow, this is the dream job. This is my dream job. I really love it. So I'm very, yeah, I'm, I'm serious. I'm t telling you the truth. <clears throat> and nowadays, I work from my home. So it's really nice. It's amazing. I really love it. And okay. you know what? Something that I really appreciate, I really love about this job, is that I can learn a lot uh, about you. I can talk to people from all around the, the, uh, our country and even people who don't live in Mexico. And we can uh, share experiences. We can uh, talk about uh, how we live in other places. Uh, for example, in this class, I don't know... A, are there any people who is living in the United States? No? No. No. In the other classes, uh, we have two people living, one of them in Philadelphia, the other one in Manhattan. Uh, tomorrow, I am going to have more classes, and there are people who are living also in Carolina and in other states of the United States. So it's interesting. It's really interesting. So that's what I really like. That's a student that lives in the United States has class the English? Yes, they do. You know what? Time ago, uh, you were supposed to be speaking English in the United States, just English. But nowadays, the Hispanic community is so big that people uh, can speak Spanish everywhere. So it is not mandatory that you speak That's right. a half for having communication. And now, of course, they are interested in being more integrated in their area with all of the people. That's why they are studying English. But they have been living in the United States for so many times, for so, so a long time. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, too much. I didn't think that it could happen something like that. I said, wow, if you are living in the United States, why are you studying English? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, good question. Teacher, but if you have three jobs, uh, what time do you rest to rest? Uh, no, I don't. Sometimes I sleep kind of like 1 a.m. and I wake up at 5 a.m. I Sometimes I sleep just four hours and that's killing me. I am extremely tired. So that's why I am thinking about quitting in one of the schools. Uh, mm. I don't think I could uh, cope with this because something that I suffer is not only that I am tired, but also that I can't finish all the work I have uh, from the schools. I haven't uh, sent my lesson plans. I, I haven't finished my exams. Uh, 
and it's a mess. My life is a mess. So I think that I am going to keep on working in Ilse and in one of the preparatory schools, no more. I am old enough to, to rest and to be quieter. So I will do, you know what? I am 50 years old and I don't have a life. So that's what I realized with this class. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do need. Do you need to have a time for you? Yeah, I should. I should do it. You know what? Let's. Why don't we work today with shoot? Uh, you know how to use it. So why don't you give me a piece of advice about what I should do? You can say it by the chat. Uh, let's write a little, or if you want, you can say it. Okay, now everybody is going to be my counselor and you are going to give me a piece of advice. All right? Okay. okay. I thought you should have to have time for you. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, I the last class, the, I have the last class you say that you have a child, a girl? I have two children, uh, three children, two, three uh, adult children, and I have two granddaughters. Mm. Oh. Wow. I have well, a question, teacher. Oh, I'm yes. Letty. Letty, yes. Uh, why do you work so much? It's for the money, um, because you, you like to teach. Uh, well, you know what? It is a very interesting question. In my case, I consider that it is because as I don't have uh, little children, I don't need to take care of anybody. I don't have a husband, so I don't uh, need to pay attention to anybody else. So maybe I am feeling a little alone and I have to use my time uh, for doing anything to distract me. Uh, yeah. Once upon a time, I went to see the doctor because I was having some headaches. I had a backache and I was suffering from my knees. And the doctor told me that I needed to have a boyfriend. And I said, oh, my doctor, please. I, oh, my doctor, you don't know anything about medicine. And so he yes. said, yes. You, you said you're not married? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he told me, yes, you need a boyfriend. Well, and I said, no. Maybe, I don't maybe you like him. Have <laughs> <Are> you? <laughs> yeah, so he told me, what you have is smiling depression. And I said, the, the what? Doctor, don't invent sicknesses. And he said, yeah. yes, you are a very happy person everywhere, but you are depressed. Oh, my doctor, please, come on. And he said, yes, you need uh, to find a person. But I don't, I don't want to do it. I am not interested in having relationship with anybody else. So that's why I use my time working. And whenever somebody tells me, Maggie, do you have time for classes? Oh, yes, of course. And I say yes to everybody. That's the uh, problem. The problem is that you, teacher, you can say no. Yeah, you that's can. it. <laughs> yeah, that's you it. You should have to say it. No, that's it. <laughs> yeah. No? yeah. As I said, as I said to the boyfriends, no, I'm not interested. I should say to to the other schools, no, I'm not interested either. <laughs> yeah, you must have now, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yes, you know what? Uh, the other reason is that I really love what I do. I am uh, very satisfied whenever I am at class. So I can't stop doing that. I really love it. If, um... Okay. So Leonardo, please talk to us about uh, your, your life. Laura, yes. Okay, Laura. Oh, sorry. Um, can you hear me? 
Yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, if I were you, um, I should take um, another classes. There are a lot of resources I get in in, the, in Mexico City, so I probably should take um, cultural classes or visit one museum per day. I don't know. I, there are a lot of activities to do. <laughs> hey, that's great. Yes, you you know what? I would really love it. I guess that I would try to do it. That's an, a, a brilliant recommendation. Thank you very much. Sure. Okay. So anybody else, please let's let's have some recommendations. Uh, Isabel, Leo, Omar, welcome. Hi. You know what, Omar? Today Good we are. Day. Yes. Hello. Hello. Today I'm new in this class. Uh, I'm sorry, my English is not very well enough. I try to to understand uh, this conversation. All right. Uh, don't worry. You know what? Now we are uh, talking about habits. We were talking about how much we work, how stressed we can be, how well we eat how much exercise we do. So, Omar, why don't you talk to us about yourself? Who are you, where you live, and what you do? Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, well, my name is Omar Antonio Samil Pabello. I live in Guerrero, in Iguala, Guerrero. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher in the a normal school. Um, teacher mathematics um, dance dance teacher too um, my day is very hard every day uh, I work uh, too much F uh, it's for in this moment I'm connected with you because the work uh, it's it's too much. Yes, yes. You know what? Yeah. I get... he yes. Says you, you need a boyfriend like Omar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! <laughs> <laughs> but he's so far, 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 far away. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You know what? Um, I know that we teachers are busy all of the time, but something that it's clear to me that anyway we really enjoy what we do one day a teacher told me you know what i would like to quit i would like to change my uh, occupation i am going to do something quieter something milder i would do something different like and he stopped and saw the classroom and he said i'm going to do something like Go to my classroom. <laughs> yeah, we can't we can't avoid uh, paying attention to uh, this thing of of the the classes, the exams. I remember that time ago. I also said I am going to quit teaching, and later on I said, well, maybe later whenever I have all my scores and whenever I upload all my my lists, <laughs> but yes, it is something that we love doing. All right, so you know what? I would like you to talk to me about what you like doing as your uh, leisure activity. Uh, do you like uh, cooking or do you like biking? What, what do you like doing? Um, Leo, why don't you talk to us about your leisure activities? Well, uh, I love it uh, riding motorcycles, but I was crashing one year ago in a highway here in Jalisco. But I, I, I love it, and when when I have the opportunity to to ride, yes, I say yes. Why not? <laughs> but but nowadays, are you okay? 
Oh, it's fine. Just some. Mm. I don't have uh, a broken bone or something else now. Well, yes, uh, it was so bad. I, I, I am so concerned about it. But yes, take care of yourself. It is important, really important. Okay. Uh, you know what? I, I will interrupt uh, a little bit this class with this information. You know what? Uh, in your screen, you can see a function that says, Estás compartiendo la pantalla de Maggie Ergot, all right? And you have more options. If you click in that part that says more options, you can find the option Anotar. If you click on Anotar, you will find a menu of different functions, for example, Texto. And if you click on Texto, it is going to appear something like this so that you can write and send me messages or you can use the pencil and draw. You can also uh, draw to, to underline or to stress. Okay, uh, why, why is this uh, or, or what for are you going to use this? Uh, it's because let's suppose that you want to stress anything that you want me to see something and you can use it, you can do it. You can have some arrows, for example, to make some signals. And it is another function that this platform has, and it is useful for you. So why don't we practice a little bit with this? Uh, uh, you can draw and write, and you can write in different colors. It's so nice, it's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. So we, can do, we can do something like that. Uh, you? We can do something like that? Yes. Uh, oh. in, in the place oh. where you say, Estás compartiendo la pantalla de Maggie Argot, you can yeah. see also <clears throat> options. Yeah, yeah, options. I can see it. And you can do it. Uh, some, I, I remember a time ago, a student made some drawings and she said, teacher, teacher, I'm sorry. I, 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 I oh, I spoke in <laughs> your presentation. Oh, okay. <laughs> and no, of course not. Here you are the eraser also. And obviously whenever I turned the presentation off, nothing is going to be uh, saved on the presentation. So it's, going to be like erased everything so it is going to be deleted all right so um well let's continue with the class and i would like you to tell me how much water you drink or how much fruit do you eat how how much exercise you do, all right? So, uh, okay. who is going to be the first volunteer? May I try? Yes, and of course. Me... Okay, I go to the gym for two hours every day. Well, in a week, five days. I practice kickboxing because I oh. like to hit. That's great. I'm afraid. <laughs> it's a therapy for me. <laughs> How long have you been practicing the kickboxing? Kickboxing. How long? How long have you been practicing? Ah, um, for a year. For a year? Um, Do you have a special training or is it just by yourself? It, it's a class. I, I take classes at the gym. Um, yoga, kickboxing, um, I don't know how to say pesas, lift, lift training, lift training. Wow, that's great. All right, thank you very much. Who's next? Okay, me. All right, Omar. Okay, um, I like to dance. 
to dance. Um, uh, I liked um, Apple. I liked Apple um, so much. Um, what, what, the basketball. Basketball is great for me. I like to eat fish. Um, more, more. Uh, the ice cream. Yes. Okay. Mm. Well. That's all. Excellent. Thank you very much, Omar. That's so nice. Omar, please tell us next. Who do you want to listen to? Sorry? Excuse Who me? do you want to listen to? Who's next? Okay. Do you want to listen to to Yvette, to Leticia, to Lydia, to Leonardo, eh, to Isabel? Lydia, teacher, Lydia, sorry, Omar. Yeah, all right, Lydia. Yes, yeah, me. All right, well, good. Um, I, I'm trying uh, walking, walking uh, all days for five kilometers. Wow, but, great. But um, I think that is, um, a, no, a, no, a little, a little exercise because in some times I used to do two hours in the gym. But nowadays I don't have enough time for go to the gym. So I go uh, how do you say, caminadora? A walker. Walker. Walker oh. machine. A walker. Yes. Um, it's, it's, the, it's the form that I choose to, to do exercise. I, I have um, very hard days. Um, usually I get up at 6 a.m. Um, I wake up, no, I sleep to 12 p.m. So I finish my day so tired. Um, in the days I try to, to drink a lot of water because uh, in the office I usually uh, stay sit down and it, it's so hard to to stay quickly uh, um, sitting yes yes but it's all thank you very much yes you're right it's so hard to be sitting down so it is very good that you drink water all right who's next kids Hello, you who? Me, teacher. All right, thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. When it tell, uh, when it comes to talk about exercise, I think in this stage of my life, I'm a totally disaster doing exercise. I don't do anything. I'm a little, I feel a little bit small compared with all of you guys. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> because you, you, everybody uh, does something like you know, any kickboxing or I don't know what, what else I heard, but it's because I'm totally busy all the day. I'm studying English and I'm studying another career and I, I'm working. When I arrive to my house, I have to clean the house. I have to cook and I have to do many things. So I'm not doing any exercise. So I'm a little bit ashamed. Yes, and, and I guess that you finish your day exhausted. Yes, I know that. Oh my. 
I don't know how to say, but I, at the end of the day, I ended up so tired. And the only thing that I want is to sleep. Yes, of course. My day, it starts at 5 a.m. At what time? 5, 5 a.m. Oh my, you should rest. <laughs> yes, you should take a rest. So for, for the reason I tell you, the only thing that I want to do is rest or sleep. Yes. And so it's my stage right now. It's a disaster with the exercise. Oh, but yeah, because you, you, you not only have no time for exercise, but also no energy. Yeah. It's too tiring. Well, yes. Well, listen who's talking, huh? I say, I am giving you piece of advice and I do the same. Oh, my. <laughs> All so right. I think, uh, I think uh, when my thyroid, uh, I don't know how to pronounce thyroid. 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 I'm got tired. I'm got sick of tired, and so I think that is one reason for my energy. And so you know what? In all the year, I have gotten sick. It, this is not the first time. I think my uh, my vitamin C is is weak. My vitamin C or many kinds of vitamins in my body are weak. I don't know yeah. what happened with me. Oh my, you know what here Julia said, and she is right. She said, both of you girls, Yvette and Maggie need vacations. You know what, we should uh -huh. take it uh, very seriously. Yes, we should do it because I have heard and I have learned that uh -huh. Health is first. So, you yes. Know. Yes, I'm agree with you. Yeah, we should do something because uh, it is not good to, to be living like this. Let's do something. We are going to think very seriously about uh, watching a movie picture, going to ride a bike, uh, or, or playing basketball. Uh, to do something else or to go to the beach, to Cancun, as you said. Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is so funny. Yeah, so nice. All right. Relax. Yes, yeah, so relaxing. So, yeah, so please, could anybody tell me what has the most relaxing thing you have done? Lydia? Uh, Right? Yes, Leti. Right, right. Uh, take a message. I'm a cosmetra. I don't know this word in English. <coughs> I, hey. I'm cosmetra. I realize treatment in face and body for women and men. And it's very relaxing. Take a message. A message. Oh, yeah. It must be something. Yes, you're right. Yeah, you know what? I consider ser I am seriously considering to do it. You're right. <laughs> All right. I do. <laughs> I yeah. do. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right. Anybody else? Yes, okay, Laura. Uh, yeah, okay, Isabel. Okay, uh, this uh, Sunday, uh, my wife and I, uh, we were very tired and stress and uh, fortunately we live here in Tijuana and the Rosarito Beach is very near so we left all the activities and we went to the beach wow we, we uh, take a nap on the beach <laughs> oh delicious yeah also um, in this uh, region we have a uh, wine, many wineries, and um, we enjoy to go to take a bottle of wine, red wine, 
with cheese and, and cookies. Wow. Hey, that was wonderful. Hey, congratulations to you. All right. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Yes, me. All right. <laughs> One of the, well, it's a kind of long history. I have a, a friend who, who met in Boston and her husband was working on, um, for a, just for one year and we met them and she was talking to me an experience when she was younger, a younger girl. He traveled around the world and he spent two years just traveling around the world and she spent some time, um, kind of time on Thailand and she learned how to do massage. And one time I was very tired and she said, I will do it for you, free. And I would say, oh, it's amazing. And I tried. It was so nice. It's, I really recommend <laughs> if everybody is really tired, you have to take a massage. Yeah. Uh, it, she was very good, but I have to take off my clothes and I was kind of embarrassing because even, even if she's a woman, I feel, I don't feel confident, <laughs> but it was too, too good. It was so nice. So I really recommend you guys take it. Take it away. That's great. You're right. You know what? Time ago, I was studying traditional medicine because I am also a very unquiet person. And into the Mexica Yotl, they call it Tlahuayo. And the Tlahuayo, it's a way that we are going to activate some parts of our body. And we are going to, uh, to make everything function as it should. But it, yes, you're right. It is so relaxing. So nice. I guess I would do it. <laughs> All right. Well, anybody else? Uh, can I say something, Mary? Oh, yes, of course, Norma. Uh, for me, meditation is really uh, important. It's like taking a painkiller. <laughs> wow. Yes, you're right. Yes, you're um, right. It's really relaxing. Uh, it takes your time for really uh, accomplish the for a real meditation but once you have uh, experienced that you it will be easier for you to to be in that state and if if that doesn't work you can always take a bath and a whiskey <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> that's it hey that's a pretty good recommendation i will try meditation that's <laughs> Cool, so cool. All right, anybody else? Yes, teacher me. Yeah, all right. Yay! <laughs> it's my <Okay>. song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, um, I like to reflect by myself or thinking about something that happened. Uh, I like to see the people how is the um, oh, the oh, comportamiento? Is behavior. The, ah, the behavior. And um, something that I like it is to plant flowers. I, I think the health for the nature is so important for the oxygen, for us. And um, I think that is the, the best form for me for to be relaxed. Hey, that's beautiful, yes. And it is not only uh, useful for relaxing, but also it is sustainable. Mm. Yes. Mm. Great. Mm. That's beautiful. <laughs> All right. Anybody else? Oh, don't be shy. Reading a books. Reading books, excellent. Reading books, sorry. Reading yeah, books. it's okay. That's amazing. All right, Julia. Uh, well, the the thing that relaxing me a lot is turn off my cell phone, my and my left computer. 
um, because my work is uh, lurking me every day. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah so, you're yeah so so if i turn off my cell phone and my laptop computer i i will be uh uh relaxing <laughs> hey that's great all right pretty good okay anybody else you sure yes the more activity relaxing that i was do is stay on the bed the whole weekend Oh my, that's great. <laughs> yeah, and take a, take a coffee, take yeah, some. Yeah, reading, uh, eating. And that is so good. <laughs> hey, that's so nice. All right, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I recommend it. <laughs> yeah, those are some nice recommendations. <laughs> right. yeah. Well, you know what? Ooh. I have... I have really enjoyed this class. You are so nice. You are so so smart and so wise. So thank you very much for your recommendation, for your participation, for your attendance. And let's meet next class. And so have a very beautiful week, everyone, and good night. Thank, thank you, Maggie. You. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a very good night. You too. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.